From a distance, the hazy desert town of Fremont, California, could be Kabul. Little Kabul, as it's known, is home to the largest population of Afghans in America. Many of them war widows in a world of pain. That's the medication she takes for her to, you know, just to be calm, just to be normal. Is that a, is, is that a normal thing for an Afghan woman? I don't, I don't believe that's a normal thing for any human being. Azia Miskinyar has not seen her daughter, a mother herself now, and her sister since fleeing Afghanistan almost a decade ago. My daughter is like my heart. She left in Afghanistan and I'm here. Zahida Hayati's sister was killed in a bombing in Kabul, leaving behind two sons and two daughters. There's no way for us to help, but we're trying our best to help them in any way we can. Zahida dreams of returning to Kabul to see them one day. Afghan-American women here in Fremont hope this week's presidential vote in their native land will improve life for women there. This election to myself personally is the most historical election in our country. We, we women in the United States, we have a lot of rights and we have a lot of ways to go to school and have educated, but not, not them. The election in Afghanistan will impact women from Kabul to Fremont. We are sister worlds apart, so we really feel what our sister in Afghanistan feel it. If they are happy, we are happy. If they are sad, we are sad. Afghan sisters who, after 30 years of war, remain waiting for the sun to rise again. Mike Kirsch, Al Jazeera, Little Kabul in Fremont, California.